felt his negative energy in my home. Yeah. Um, I just didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. On Tuesday, we shared this family's story of alleged racial discrimination in housing. The couple says their home's appraisal jumped 40% after, as they put it in their words, they removed all traces of blackness from their home. They live in the high-end area, Ortega neighborhood of Jacksonville. But housing discrimination has a long history in our city. On your side, Troy Kless joins us live now to explain really the ugly history of community redlining, as it's called. That's correct, Jeannie. So I'm here in the east side neighborhood, which according to this map that we're about to show you is within that red line district. So if you take a look here again, this map was drawn in the 1930s. So we're in this red area over here and areas like San Marco and Avondale and Riverside now are marked in the green areas, again, showing a disparity in housing. This map created by UNF researchers shows modern day zip codes compared to historically redlined neighborhoods. Jacksonville area legal aid attorney Suzanne Garrow says that color line was used to deprive predominantly black areas of most families single biggest asset, a house. Banks were caught um, redlining and that was <clears throat> what that meant was essentially drawing a red line around black neighborhoods and not providing mortgages. The practice of redlining is now illegal, but the effects continue into the modern day. UNF researchers found the practice of redlining in the 60s and 70s widened the racial wealth gap for decades, and it created stark socioeconomic differences between neighborhoods that are still visible. Garrow says federal laws like the Fair Housing Act are designed to protect people from discrimination. If you think that that's happened and you're not getting equal treatment and equal access to um, uh, housing opportunities, then you, the Fair Housing Act may apply and you should talk to a lawyer. Coming up at six, I'm going to take a look at some of the long term effects of redlining, including impacts on health and even temperature in neighborhoods. I'll explain again tonight at six. We're live on the east side. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side. It is definitely an un fortunate reality, Troy, and we are here to help. If you have something you want our team to check out, just send an email to on your side at firstcoastnews.com.